What's going on guys? Welcome back to Michigan Great Outdoors. Happy to have you here today. Today we're going to look at the Exodus Rival Cell Cam, the newest offering from Exodus Outdoors. This is their new cell cam. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to go through, I'm going to set this up. I have not, I haven't even downloaded the app on my phone yet. I'm going to share my screen. This is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go over the whole setup with you guys. We're going to experience it together, see how it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it outside in the backyard and then I'm going to see what happens over the course of the next week or two. And then I'll make a part two video showing you guys all the pictures, all the videos it takes. I'll show you guys how it looks on the phone versus how the, the photos and videos look when you download them and I'll edit it up really nice for you guys and kind of just check out this camera and see what it's all about. All right, so we're gonna do like a little bit of an unboxing here. It's pretty simple. We have a camera, very small, tiny. I really like that it's small. You know, it's got a big here, uh, flash thing here I don't, on an infrared or whatever they call it. You know, I'm not really gonna get into the specs in this video. Maybe I'll put the specs up in the this area here, but you can go online and see all that. Maybe I'll put them in the description below. Standard stuff, we have an antenna, we have a strap. I don't see any instructions, but I do, right here on the box, we have scan me. So you're gonna go ahead on your smartphone, scan that QR code, and it'll tell you everything you need to know. We also have a sticker here. This is the activate your five year warranty. So we gotta make sure we do that. That's one of the cool things about Exodus is they have a five year no BS warranty and that means no BS. So if this thing stops working, if it breaks, if it quits for whatever reason, as long as you don't run over it with your truck, you can reach out to Exodus and you can get it replaced. They also have the anti-theft or theft protection or whatever they want to call it, where if somebody was to steal this in the woods, you can submit a claim and basically it's like insurance and you can get like 50% off your next camera purchase. So I hunt a lot of public land. I plan on using this on public land. So that's very encouraging. Now looking at the rival, this thing retails at 179. I actually used code rival and I got, I think it was either $30 off or 30% off. And I got this thing shipped to my house for like 154. So that's a pretty good price. That's kind of at the, the top level that I want to spend. You know, looking at Exodus, they have a lot of really expensive cameras. The render retails for 274 or 79, something like that. And that's just way out of my ballpark. We have some lithium energizer batteries. This is what I put in cell cams. They're expensive, it sucks, but you get the best performance possible out of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and set this thing up and then uh, see how easy it is to activate. I don't have the app on my phone. I believe it's called the Scout Tech app. I don't have it on my phone yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we'll download the app and we'll see what happens uh, with the whole setup. So I'm gonna speed ahead and go ahead and uh, show you guys the inside of the camera there. So it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight batteries. We have a spot where we have an SD card, a SIM card. There is a little port there for you can put in a, a little USB type connection. It also has the solar charging area where you can charge your camera via the solar. And then uh, obviously the antenna, put the antenna in. All right, so I got my smartphone. I'm gonna go ahead and scan the code. Go in here, Exodus Rival product manual, SD card requirements, can support up to 128 SD, 32 gig, freshly formatted SD card, it's all standard stuff. Exodus Rival battery requirements, lithium AA batteries are to be used with Exodus Rival. We already installed those, I didn't bore you with that. SIM card, you know, that's kind of the one thing I don't like about this camera. I don't know if I like it or not. It requires a SIM card. I think all cameras, cell cameras, have SIM cards, but I like the ones that you can't steal because the little bastards on public like to steal those too. So uh, activation QR, Scout Tech app. So that's what we need to download. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this SD card in. This is 32 gig card, and it's got the 10 circled. I don't know, I don't, I'm not super techy. I'm not 100% sure what that means. I know that you have to have a certain 
write speed for this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen if I remember how to do that. Start recording. Three, two, one. Okay. So we're going to go in the Google Play Store. Scout Tech, Trail Camera. It's coming up right now. Uh, email address and password. New user. You got to sign up. So my name is Juice. Uh, email address. I'm going to use that one. Password. Uh, time zone, New York, uh, account type private. So we're creating an account and then we have to put in the verification code, 125708. Okay, code is in. We're going to allow, we're gonna register a new camera, scan the QR code. So we're gonna take the QR code in the camera. I know most of you guys probably already know how to do this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys. So we're going to register the camera, camera name. So we're going to call it the Juice Cam. Juice Cam 3. Nope, I can't call it 3. I got more than that. Uh, we're going to register the camera. Camera successfully registered. Nope, we just want to activate. Uh, hit OK. Uh, so 50 megabytes is $5 a month. So you want to look at the plans. 50 megs, $5 a month. I guess for this, we'll just go $10 a month. Change overage tolerance. See, that's the thing about these cameras. They all have their own little plans. Um, I think if you go on exodus.com, you can see the different layouts of what they charge or for whatever. But for now, we're just gonna go with uh, 10 bucks a month. That should be plenty. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit activate. Must complete checkout. So we gotta, we gotta probably put in our credit card. So this is interesting. Twenty, it's wanting me to pay twenty nine bucks. That's weird. So it has a cycle period of two one through two twenty eight for ten bucks, and then three one through three thirty one for ten bucks. Why the hell do I have to pay for that? And then you gotta pay for a line fee. Yeah, uh, that's weird. Why is it? It's making me prepay next month. You know, to be honest with you, uh, that's kind of crazy that it, it, it charges you that much I need all the other cell cams that I've ever done I didn't have to pay you know a bunch of other crap you know it's kind of crazy that it charged me for two months service I, I've never had to do that with any other cell cam company usually you just pay you don't pay like a, a line fee either I've never had to do that so it says we're active all right so we're activated now so I guess we're just going to go ahead and turn the camera on. It says data usage, cycle remaining seven days. So every seven days you get 100 megs. Is that what that means? Or is that because the month ends in seven days? So I had to pay for last month. It's, it wasn't prorated. I had to pay for the whole month because it is February 21st. So I had to pay for February. That's kind of silly. Why wouldn't they prorate it? Moments later, more moments later. We got a signal. The signal's blinking there too. I don't know if you can see that. So it still hasn't connected to the app. So we sit and we wait. Everything just popped up. 100%. We got 0.1% used on the SD card. My data usage is already at 7%. So I don't need to show you because I'm screen recording. I don't know why I did that. 7%. For pushing a firmware update? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click status report. So we got juice cam, signal's good. Temperature 69, that was in the house. There's no way it's that warm outside. So it has all the information we need. Okay, actions. We're gonna go ahead and take a photo and see what happens. Uh, format SD card, probably should do that to be honest. It's always good to format your SD card in the camera. I do it in the computer as well. Usually when I'm cleaning them off, I just format them. But I like to do it, if it's an option in the camera, I like to do it in the camera. I feel like it helps. Maybe, I don't know, just because it writes some sort of code from the camera on there and, and helps it. So we can change location. I don't want to do that. Change camera name. Don't want to do that. Okay, so upload interval real time. Photo mode. Uh, photo video. HD. So we have all these different options. Upload quality, standard saves, enhance better image, more data. Burst count, two. We'll go ahead and change that to three. Uh, 24 hour time is good. Trigger delay, if 
five seconds is fine. Trigger sensitivity, it's good that you can change that. IR flash range, high, low. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll start with photos and we'll see how that goes. And then we're gonna go ahead and save. You always wanna save your settings. Um, we don't have any photos yet, but that's okay. About right there. Oh, we're getting pictures now. I'm getting, uh, so the, they're sending to my phone and then it's going to my watch. So we're getting notifications. Go ahead and mount this on here. All right, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, take this lone wolf camera down, cause I don't want it to interfere. And I'll get rid of this stick. And we got bad boys right there. I feel like it's in a pretty good angle. But the nice thing about this here is you can angle it up or down. So you can just tilt it up or down. And then this camera can go bye bye. We don't need this one up. I'd say we're probably about 15 foot. You know, get a little closer. Now I already did get some pictures sent to my phone and they look pretty good. So I'm pretty excited. But go ahead and spread this stuff out. You can see we got the stuff, camera, and then we'll put the this crap, Acorn Rage. Go ahead and just dump that out too. You know, this is professionally filmed. I hope you guys are appreciating this. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna go to the recent photos. Uh, we'll start at the beginning. You got me holding the camera like an idiot. Okay, there's a nice photo of my crotch. Photo of the sky, photo of the face walking. Okay, here's me setting the pole there, talking to the camera. Boom, there it is. First picture, you can see it's in military time, has the date. You can see the lone wolf camera hanging in the background. Me filming the camera. It's a little blurry, but obviously I'm moving. Here we go, putting the food down. That looks pretty good. I mean, the clarity right there is pretty nice. You can zoom in. It's a little grainy when you zoom in, but man, that, that looks good. All right, so like I said, this is a two-part video. You guys definitely, if you'd like, subscribe down below. I'm going to do a follow-up video and I wanna review you know, overall thoughts. Like I said, I didn't really care for the whole process of setting it up. It was a little bit more intense than what I'm used to. Maybe I'm spoiled. Tacticam, Stealthcam, they seem like they really got it dialed in with setup. I like the way the app's dis you know, displaying right now. And the, cl the camera clarity is really nice. So stay tuned. Subscribe down below. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.